think doing stuff not on a holiday is a lot more special and surprising. I think it's up to the person. Some people are like obsessed with their birthday, their whatever, and some people don't. I don't give a fuck about mine. I don't even care if people remember it. Yes, make things. Mm hmm. I love mage stuff. $10, right? Exactly. Like, what the f I know it's just $10, but why are we feeding into that market? Like, I know the artist ain't getting shit. <gasps> oh, Setsume, that is so cool. I keep every single card that has ever been given to me. I do. I have boxes. I've moved places with these boxes of cards because I don't get many. I don't want to, I mean, this is not a pity party, but like my family's not into love and stuff for the most part. So I've kept every single one I've ever received in my entire life. Just in case I'm getting to that sad point where it's a little too far, I can remind myself someone cared at one point. One less to play Probably the a little innocent. sick. I'm a little sick, though. <laughs> it's fine. Fuck this hoe. Ugh! Bastard. <gasps> We're having a bad time today. I swear to God I'm good at this game offline. I could show you my offline game. It's asinine. Fuck. That's what I was taught, yeah. Aw, Glut, that's pretty cool. I went to Disney World one year for my birthday, but I was in the middle of a mental breakdown, so... It wasn't, like, as cool as you would have thought it would be. What memory has this agony uncovered? It was agony, exactly. That is the word I wanted. Bitch. Hello. A dead... Well, I meant it was a menstruation joke. I don't know, girls are using these diva cups nowadays, and who the fuck knows what spills out of that mess? Not I. Suffering sends monsters. We will send our daughters. Oh god, Glut, that's beautiful. But also terrible, but beautiful. I'm very jealous. I've never had friends to do that with. I would do shit like that, but I again, moving too often, you don't exactly maintain good relationships with locals, which is why all my favorite people in the world are on the internet. But you can't, like, do that shit, you know? I can't afford to fly everybody to my house for a barbecue. I wish I could. Dreams don't come true, unfortunately. You know what, Phoebe? It's cool. I don't mind saying menstruation. I have to live with it. Y'all get to hear about it. Oh, oh, Ashley. Which headphones did you get? I don't think you told me the headphones. Without a hangover? That is magical. I always get a hangover and I hate them. Hate them. They're enough to make me never drink in my life. <laughs> Give me weed and, you know, other things any day. Ugh, not worth it. It's literally borrowing happiness from today for tomorrow. Disney World is amazing yeah, unless you're having a mental breakdown, in which case it's kind of like a torture device. A little bit. Fuck you, Eliza. They've come for us. Ooh, I've never worn skull candies before. That's awesome. We delve deep. Here's the, the thing, though, Brufu. I don't enjoy my own company, so I couldn't. I'm not making excuses. I'm just never gonna do it. I'm never gonna do a birthday thing for myself. Like it's never gonna happen. These are just my reasons. There's no point. I was born on a full moon at 8.45 p.m. and there were crazy people running around the hospital and that's all I know. Where are the bad guys? Oh, this way. Okay. I kinda just want them to wait to come to me. I hate you, Eliza. Your liver is immaculate. Oh, <gasps> Maggie. How is the spood? Oh. I love stretching. My back cracks and it's beautiful. 
I have a massage next week and I'm really nervous. I'm not really into strangers touching me for extended periods of time, but my back is fucked. Aren't they adorable? Jumpers are precious as hell. I love them. Are there bad guys this way? Yeah. F it. I know, Eliza. I'm jealous. Like, even after taking a year and a half off drinking, I still fucking got hungover and hated it. I'm not gonna drink anymore. I, I just... I solidified my alcohol hate. Just not the best. Just fucking blows. Pyro, what the fuck? That sucks. That super sucks, man. Mayo, I will. My massage therapist's name is Catherine F. I'm not even fucking with you. I didn't do that on purpose. It was a suggestion from Bree and Scott. They suggested one girl who is no longer in business, and she suggested me to another girl, and that girl's name is Catherine F. Well, Brute, now there's the internet, so I don't. I can do that without the touching part. I don't know, it just feels intimate to me. I didn't grow up with touchy-feely, lovey family at all, like hugging and stuff. So to me, intimacy is pretty much sex. And that's the end of the road. So letting people that I don't know get paid to be intimate with my body makes me feel uncomfortable. Does that make sense? I like being touched, but pretty much if I'm gonna fuck. Which I'm down for, but not with a strange massage therapist. A bitter victory. Yeah, hugs are different. I don't see hugs as... I, I love hugging people, but I've gotten... Maybe that was weird at one point. But it's not anymore. I like to hug. I trust people enough for a hug. Um, we're gonna do shadow round. I wouldn't pay for a happy ending massage because I can do it better than any stranger. Better, faster, more comfortably. I've had bad birthdays too. I once tried to have a birthday party, invited people, and they said yes and agreed to come, and then didn't show up. Oof. So I sat there surrounded by food and drinks. And the same thing happened the year after. I'm so sorry that happened to you. That is fucked up. Exactly, Brew Brew. Hi, Ty. How are you? Yes, today is going fucking swimmingly. Yesterday wasn't a bad day. It was just really busy. A lot of just sitting with my headphones on. Impressive. And, like, just listening. Like, most of the meetings I was in, it's no communication from me at all. It's just, like, sitting there. Got a lot of chores done. You're high? Ooh, hell yeah. Fucking A, motherfucker. Um, Gizmo. You won't kill him. Bitch. Yes, I love it. No, we'll save it. David, I think that's really good. I mean, I always, I let you know me, I sing to people on their birthdays and I love paying attention to people. I just think like there was like this, until I went to college, I didn't even conceptualize of having a birthday for yourself. And I remember I was in college and my roommate found out my birthday was that day, that morning and I was going to class and she was appalled that I didn't tell anybody. And I just felt really gross about it, like something was wrong with me or wrong with my family. And at that point, I was still very defensive of my family. And so it wasn't like giving up. It was just like not knowing how to go about it and just avoiding it forever. <gasps> oh, my God. Happy 421. Cheers. Delightful. And caffeine cheers to those who don't imbibe. I started taking my um, my birthday off at work when I was like 25 because I can't stand the sympathy happy birthdays when people find out it's your birthday. I hate it. Oh my god, it's your birthday and you're working. Happy birthday. What are you doing? I'm doing nothing. I have no friends. Oh, I'm your friend. Uh, I just can't. I just take it off and then nobody knows. <laughs> it's pathetic and I'm aware. It's cool. I'm laughing at myself. 
backs. Same. Same. <laughs> Same. It's weird. <laughs> I hate these ones. They creep me out. Uh oh. Mickey, no! <gasps> oh, is that too many? You're lucky. My birthday's March 3rd. There's nothing special. It's always on a weekday. Usually always had to work. But I would not. Do you know Fax's birthday? Oh, that's great. Everybody knows mine. It's, well, people close to me because it's 3-3. Three, three, it's pretty hard to forget. But I don't make a big deal of it. Fuck you. <gasps> I'm very upset. One less to plague the innocent. <gasps> Pisces represent! What up, Mars? I knew we were. This is no why we cry a lot. Life. You cry like. God them well. Con like at least once a day for absolutely no reason. Usually at happy things that involve love or animals. Because same. <sighs> oh, poor Gizmo. Nah, dude, I have all the respect in the world for people who love to celebrate. I've just never wasn't taught to celebrate myself, so I don't. But I'm not sad about it. Fuck that bastard. Impressive. Mm. Oh, Mayo, I hate. Oh, I feel. S you know, my sister's birthday is December 3rd, and she still got screwed on her birthday. I always felt bad. Cry more than I used to. Memories of another life. God. I'm not like all about astrology. I don't put all my like shit in it, you know. Uh. But it's fun to just like giggle about. Same with me. Crying gives me. If I have like a full-on cry, like sometimes I just tear up and cry at like sweet, sweet moments in movies or films or something or shows. But if I have like a full on, like I am tragically crying, I always get a migraine and it sucks. Oh, <gasps> psycho, that's exciting. Shot one or two. Cause one doesn't bug anybody really. I've heard of very few people actually getting bugged by the first one. You should be fine. It's number two that usually lays people up with a, just feeling really icky for a couple days, but it's better than a ventilator psycho and you know this. Doesn't that suck, Ashley? I know. Christmas birthdays suck, you always get screwed. I think Drew Yu is like the 20s, or no, I think he's New Year's Eve, isn't he? 31st, he used to get screwed on his birthday too. Blech, sucks. Psycho, it's so easy. Where are you getting it done? Like, uh, you don't have to tell me the exact place, but are, like, you're, are you going to a clinic or whatever? Yeah, it was so easy, exactly what Creepshow said. It's a little tiny, oh yeah, it's like a flu shot. It, the needle's like this big and they just like, it's done in a second. It's really small. Don't even worry about it. I have a literal phobia of needles, and I was able to do it. You'll be able to do it. Yeah, we got ours done in a fucking, like, parking lot, man. But it was very easy. Just like a flu shot. I mean, honestly, the flu shot makes me feel shittier. This shot just made me tired for a couple days. Like, really tired. Like, oh, I'm so heavy. Tired. But, nah. You'll be fine. At a convention center by the military? Yep. I don't even... Ours, I believe, were nurses, but it was in the parking lot of, like, Dick's Sporting Goods or something. It was great. I just opened my car door, and they were like... And then they make you sit in the parking lot for... What is it? Like, 15 minutes or something to make sure you don't have a seizure, and then you drive away. Setsume, yes, I am. But my job that I did, I'm a specialized form of nursing. It's called respiratory therapy. So we maintain um, life support machines and also we take arterial blood. I don't give any shots. I just take blood and that doesn't bother me. It's a very specific phobia. It has to do with long needle injecting and muscle. It's like my, my thing is very specific. I have lots of tattoos too. They don't bug me either. Yeah. But normally I just, it's not that I like freak out like that lady in Victoria's Secret or anything. I just faint. It's not even, it's like the adrenaline workup to the shot is what makes me pass, is what makes me pass out. Not even the shot. 
It's just like the, the build up fear, which is dumb. Heads are dumb. Gizmo needs to leave. Like, now. But even in the hospital, like, I was in many, like, hundreds of situations where there's people, you know, getting shots and horrible things drilled into their bones and shit. And when you're in a hospital environment, it's really bizarre. You kind of could just go into a different mode of existence uh, where you just kind of get it done. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. Even if you're scared of it or something like that, you just kind of get it done. It's kind of amazing. I don't know why. I don't know what that is. But you kind of go into, like, business mode, and it's just like... Everything from school comes back, and you know everything in the order it's supposed to be. It's weird. Oh, man, Lofius. I've only gotten freaked out one time getting my blood drawn, and it's because the plebotomist was terrible, and he went through one of my valves. In Like, he even did a brachial, and he hit a valve, and he giggled at me when he hit it, because I was like, that fucking hurt, you bastard. And he's like, I never get one of those. And then I looked like a heroin addict for the first, like, six months I worked at my new job, which was great. What up, bitch? You want to get stabbed? I got to let that 5G do its work, exactly what Mayo said. I'm still waiting. Where is this dude? He's right there. Fuck this slut. Lofius, yeah. Oh, dude, one time, I didn't pass out. I can't remember why I was getting blood drawn. But for some reason, they had to take, like, oh, I think every time you get a new job in a new hospital, they do all the testes. They do a bunch of blood work and a pee test and all this stuff to make sure you're healthy before you start working in a hospital full of d deathly ill people, you know? And the girl that was drawing my blood, she had to take three vials, and she knew I was medical and that I'm an RT, so RTs draw lots of blood. We're kind of known as the little vampires. And she was like, can you hold these for me? And so with my other hand, she had me holding the hot, full vials of my own blood, and they were big suckers and I was sitting there like this is where we've gone too far and maybe I can't do this <laughs> but that was the only time that was pretty bad it was gross <laughs> it's like holding your own little mortality in your hand like this shit keeps me alive what the fuck fuck that slut god gizmo's still alive how is this happening To assert dominance? Oh my god. The new shift has just arrived. What new horrors must we face? I just want to escape. Lofius, there are so many hundreds of thousands of reasons you could be passing out. I don't even know. God damn it, again. It's pretty weird, Mosley. One time I was watching the vial get filled, and if I squeezed my hand, it would squirt, like, harder. I could see it, like, into the vial, so I would pump my hand every once in a while. I've definitely done that. See what I mean? Like, sometimes you don't care, and sometimes... It's gross. But shots, like a deep, muscled shot, I will most likely pass out. I just can't not. Did I just do that? I really wanted him to leave and survive, and I didn't. See, I tell you, it's because I'm listening to you guys. Why do I even try playing a game? Nobody knows. We can get Mickey out, at least. Fucking dicks. Fuck the you specifically. <laughs> Shatter them. Mm, yeah. I really want him to win. Sorry. Gizmo might die. Everything's okay. Really, Mosley? I can't. I usually just lay down because I know I'm going to, like, go unconscious. It's... I think it... See, there's nothing there, idiot. I think it stems from when I was a kid. I had stitches it done to my face. I was, like... It was, like, this was, like, 1989. So they didn't really use anything on kids back then. They didn't, like, knock you out or anything. And according to my mom, we won, by the way. You're welcome for both living with absolutely no life left. Um, my mom told me that it took... They, I guess it progress. took... They used seven nurses to pin me down, and then he sewed up my lip without numbing me or anything. 
I don't remember it. My brain blocked that shit. They just kept the digging around. Passes. That's so unprofessional. Absolutely must not. Prepare for the next. Two people later, they asked if they could take it out the back of my hand. Thex, that's gross. You're not supposed to dig around ever. In, you don't get it. You pull it out and get a new needle. Digging around is the worst thing you can ever do. You can literally slice an artery or a vein open. But those needles are like, what's the word? Beveled. <gasps> Cheers, Viata. We actually got it at 421. We were one minute late. I won't lie. Cheers, my love. And we won the battle. Yay. What a day. Yeah, Pax, that's gross. Tweep! Cheers! Lofius, apparently, my mom said they put iodine on it and then pinned me down and sewed it up. Yeah, facts, that's gross. Any good nurse would tell you that's gross. You don't dig around with a needle ever. Oh my gosh, these are the bad guys that kill me. They're scary. They're all plague doctors. Well, a lot of them. If healing's more difficult with anesthesia. So the problem... I guess you could go, you could say that like roundabout, David. So what happens with anesthesia is you breathe shallower and you will sat your oxygen saturation, which is like the percent of oxygen you're absorbing out of every breath compared to the CO2 you're breathing out. It's going to be a lot lower just because you're lethargic and laying there. And oxygen obviously is the key to red blood cells, healing white blood cells, things like that. So roundabout, yes. But if you're healthy, young, and you get moving, a good nurse will get you out of bed and make you start moving, because the more you move, you'll wear that anesthesia out of your body. <coughs> Does that make sense? I love getting stuck. Where? You're stuck? In what? A oh, we? Oh my god, Latimer's why? And ow. Oh, do you? Oh, God. I love tattoos and stuff. That doesn't bother me at all. It's just the deep one. Tweep. What? I think we should just go to the next recollection. We're doing terribly. I'm doing it. I'm canceling this run. <coughs> Suffering is born. You can absolutely get PTSD. Yep, it's called ICU psychosis or... um. I have nothing ICU. More to give. Is it psychosis? Is that the word? ICU. So begin again. I believe psychosis. Yeah, absolutely. Because in the ICU, day, it's always day. Like, there's always a new nurse on shift or a new RT or a new doctor sh coming in. So for us, it's always the beginning of a new shift. And especially in an ICU or a surgical ICU, you know, it's 24 7. So the lights are never going out. You have no idea when it's nighttime and daytime half the time, unless you're looking outside, because there's always noise all the time. So the lack of sleep really makes people start to go crazy. And then on top of that, the drugs we give you, like fentanyl, any painkiller or sedative um, can make you go nuts. I always use this one example because to me was one of the worst. One of my patients, she was intubated for, a for just surgery. She was actually a very successful extubation when she came out of surgery. We always try to extubate you as soon as possible because that tube in your throat is really bad. And um, the fent when she was coming off the fentanyl propofol mix for the surgery, she thought, she literally saw this in her mind. She thought she was a horse in a stall, a racing horse in a stall with a broken leg. And that every time I came in, I was going to shoot her. So she would just start to scream madly. She was so scared of me. And once she came off the drugs, she remembered everything and told me all about it and apologized. She was so sweet. I had one guy um, was so fucked up on his own like he mixed up his own home drugs somehow he was like a big older dude you know the game kept crashing for us viata so we said fuck it today for everybody like nobody could get in so we kept failing battles it's just fuck today um but this guy he was like a very you know put together looking older man probably in his 70s bigger though you know about heart attack age so i was pretty scared i was watching him really closely and he kept shouting at me because I was trying to help the nurses uh, assist in putting a catheter in his penis, that he could not wait for the day I got raped. 
and that was the psychosis though i you like as a medical professional you can't get mad you got to sit there and be like they crazy right now some people will say it forever i've had people that are really nice when they're hurt and then, then turn into assholes oh prolapse discs i um i had a nurse friend who had to get one replaced in her neck and they actually inserted a cadaver disc into her Remember. neck it was wild she has a dead person's disc in her neck insane in the membrane i'm telling you guys Did they do Lofius? Well, that's they take all this home with them. Like I said, she remembers all of that. I can imagine you, you're not feeling great if your memory of being in the hospital is that you were a horse being shot. You know? Very long short story. When I was in the army, I was posted somewhere and couldn't get medical help. So I had a really ingrown toenail. Oh, fuck. So when I got back, they had to fix it and asked if I could watch. And he said, sure, as long as I don't freak out. Oh, you... I've watched one of these. There was a little, uh, warning. <laughs> I've watched, my brother had this, probably, I'm assuming, had the same thing done. There was this little lady, like, four feet tall, holding me down, quote, unquote. I told her, lady, if I kick, you're going across the room. But, yeah, how often do you get to watch surgery on yourself? I've seen enough surgery. I'm good. My brother, Adam, had horrific ingrown toenails his whole life and so finally they went to get like remove them and he told me he could hear in his head the sound of the scraping the toenail root off the bone of his toe and i just can't why why are ingrown toenails a thing what happened to us not all comparable to what you went through but i i had to get an eyebrow sewn when i was a kid Ooh. and the doctors also didn't want to use any form of anesthetic david and i are around the same age so my dad just had to hold me down while I worked. <gasps> while they worked on your face? I wonder if it's just a common thing to do. It, it was. Um, there was a huge portion of time where they didn't want to give kids any sort of anesthetic because it was what was happening is they were using ketamine and ketamine in large doses was giving kids, young people under the age of, we consider children, women, basically under the age of 13. Um, it was giving them night terrors because... It makes you paralyze and lay there and be really calm, and it's technically kind of a sedative uh, amnesic, but they their eyes stay open. It's really bizarre. I've watched lots of kids. They still use ketamine now. They're using it again, but in much smaller doses and more responsibly. But um, so in the 80s, they stopped using anything because they didn't want to give kids night terrors. They're like, we'd rather just fucking sew a kid up and make them scream than fuck their brain. We use ketamine again now, but it is very bizarre. So if you think about it, your eyes stay open, which means your brain's still taking in information, regardless of your conscious state. And for a kid being in a hospital, I can imagine that's pretty tumultuous. But I got a fucking phobia and I didn't get any fucking ketamine, so who knows? When a tooth, oh yeah, broken bones freak me out. Those are things that have almost gotten me there to the point of fainting. The worst part of the process was getting the needles after that. I couldn't feel anything. None of it bothers me. I love watching it. I wish I could just hang on this. Oh, God. You are deaf. It, you know, Tweep, surgery is pretty interesting until you're, like, responsible for the life or death. And then you don't really get to watch the cool shit. Although I did have a doctor recognize me from the internet because one time we were in surgery. And I don't even know why I said this. I cannot remember. But he said something. And I said, under my breath, like, we're in full like hazmat garb you know for surgery so all you see is eyes to everybody because you've got the hat shit on and i whisper under my breath as i'm walking away from him you must create more pylons and he straight up looked up from surgery and he goes you play video games on the internet and i was like Hah! i could not have run faster i think i activated them all sick <laughs> Six nurses holding me down and feeling everything. The 80s was a rough time for children. They definitely, 80s and 90s. Like, if you're anywhere near my age, you were all, and in the U.S., you were part of the no child left behind. Like, half my generation literally can't read because of no child left behind. We were fucked. We got experimented on. I don't even know what was going on, man. That was a miserable time for children. We're okay. Like, obviously, we all made it out-ish, but fuck. What? And now they have new math? If something goes wrong, it's not me. I could never be a surgeon for so many reasons, but it's absolutely fascinating. It is very fascinating. I could never be a surgeon either. I have a surgical type of degree in that what I do by opening the skin and removing arterial blood or 
placing a trach, it's technically surgery. Um, surgeons, like real doctor surgeons, they're, they think they're a god, which is why we all hate them. But they have to be that way to do what they do. Where else do you get that fucking confidence? I don't know. I don't know. My little brother, 29, can't spell all four little words because no kid left behind. Seriously, I'm a terrible speller to this day. I'm really good with definitions because, thank Jesus, my mom encouraged reading. But to this day, like, the word thorough, necessarily, there are words that still fuck me up. And I'm 33. Like, I should know how to spell. They were more concerned with me, like, learning cursive, I think. Cut and run, really? A high tolerance? Are you by chance a ginger or do you take painkillers regularly or are you missing a kidney or part of your liver? That was a lot of weird things for me just to ask. I'm nosy and I apologize. <laughs> Same. Spell check was invented for the millennials. Like, it was probably invented by a millennial for millennials because we are dumb. Osteopaths, they have to be. Can you even imagine what they do? They literally take hammers to bones. Ugh. I don't like it. But I can't imagine doing it because I don't think I'm a god. 